Okay, guys, so today we're going to draw the link coupler, which is here for you. Um, we're also going to do this one with mirror planes. And um, it's going to be a lot of geometric construction because we, we have to make those arches, but we're going to do those at the end. All right, so let's get going. We're going to go into Inventor, File New, Standard IPT, Create. And we just wait on Inventor. Tell it okay. Still waiting on Inventor. There we go. And we are going to go home. I am going to uh, open the Chevron next to Origin, and I'm going to draw on the front plane, which would be everything going to the left on this drawing. So we're going to go XY, start 2D sketch. And the part I'm going to sketch is I am going to sketch from where this line is here, which begins the arc on the right-hand side. And I'm going to end here as a straight line where it would begin the arc on the other side. Okay, so I'm like ignoring where it starts to curve on both ends. And there's a reason for that, and I'm going to show you when we get to it. So what that looks like is it looks like just a shape that has like these legs on it for lack of a better term okay and i'm going to hit escape and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put on my dimensions and i have to figure out what the dimension is from the center of this arc and circle to the center of this arc and circle, which also is where this arc begins going in this direction. And I can tell that because if you look at the center line here, it comes down and that's telling me that they share the center and the edge of the arc. And I know your geometry teacher would say it doesn't have an edge, but I say it has an edge. So from the, this point here to the center here is three inches. So I'm going to click dimension. I'm going to click the top line. I'm going to put in three and I'm going to press enter and I'm going to zoom out. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here at the bottom. I'm going to change this one to three. And the reason I have to change it is because I drew them independently of each other. And let's go back to the drawing. And we need to figure out the, the height of this thing. And the way to look, find out the height is you can look right here. It's got 1.25. So we're gonna make this line 1.25. And now we have to start doing like the little legs and making them the correct size. So the leg they're the same on both sides. It's a symmetrical part. You can see that the numbers are the same over here and over here, guys. doesn't matter which one you use, but it's easier to use this one. So the first leg is 0.375, and then the space that makes that slot is 0.5, and then another 375. So let's go for that. I'm going to click this line here, 0.375, which, by the way, is 3 eighths, if you care. This is supposed to be 0.5. And now this should be 0.375. Why? Because the sum of the parts must equal one and a quarter because that's what the entire height is. And it's, if I click it, it'll tell me it's a driven dimension. But now we have to do the length of that slot. So let's go figure out what that is. So remember, I'm ignoring this part that curves. And so from this line to where the curve begins is one. So this line here should be one. And it should have made this one one, but we'll check and it did. Okay. So now I've got like the leg piece of this for lack of a better term. And let's just make sure we don't have any other dimensions that we have to address. Okay. So I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude it. And how much am I going to extrude it? Well, the entire width of this thing, or depth of this thing, rather, from here to here 
is 1.25. So I'm going to extrude the whole thing 1.25. And it's going to be nice and chunky. All right. And now we need to go and add um, the curve. And I'm going to start with the curve right here. So I'm going to put the sketch on top of it. Start 2D sketch. Never forget to project your cut edges. That's where most of you guys go astray. Notice now I have that green outline. I'm going to click circle. I'm going to come and find the green dot, which is the center point, and I'm just going to pull that circle out. And notice it gives me that tangent constraint when I've hit the edge of the block so I know that it's constrained correctly. I'm going to click trim and I'm going to get rid of this piece. And now if I finish the sketch, I have the start of the arc here in the top view. And I'm going to extrude that guy down 0.375. So extrude, pick the surface. I want it to go the other way. And I want it to go 0.375. That way I leave the gap. So I'm going to tell it OK. So now I have my surface ready to go. And I'm actually going to mirror that arc on the bottom. Could I draw it again? I could, but it's probably faster just to mirror it. So I'm going to go plane. And I want mid-plane between two planes. So I'm going to pick the top. And I'm going to pick the bottom. And it sticks the plane right in the middle. Then I'm going to click on mirror. I'm going to come over here and pick extrusion 2 because that's the arc. I'm going to click the red arrow for mirror plane. And then I'm going to click my work plane so it highlights. It's going to give me the preview. And I'm going to tell it OK. Okay, so now we're going to drill the hole through this thing. And um, there's one thing I have to tell you guys, and that's when I copied this drawing, um, it accidentally cut off the diameter here. That's why there's this little note um, in the assignment uh, that the drill or diameter for the little circles is 0.5. Drill is another word for diameter. Sorry, it got cut off. Um, so let's make the hole. Before we make the hole, let's hide the work plane because it's going to get in the way while we do this. So right click on work plane, click turn off visibility, click hole. We want concentric reference because the arc and the circle share the same center. I'm going to click on the top plane here. I'm going to click the red arrow next to concentric reference. I'm going to select my arc. It's going to kick the circle to the center. I'm going to make sure the diameter is 0.5, and I'm going to tell it apply. And there is part of my link coupler. So let's go back to the drawing. And now we need to cut a slot in the top view and basically repeat the process to create the arc and the hole here. So I am going to put a sketch on the top view. Start 2D sketch. Always remember to project cut edges. And I'm going to use rectangle this time. And I'm going to click here and here. And I'm going to drag out that rectangle. Now we remember that when I made this, um, it's one inch long. And it's 0.5 tall. And then each side is 0.375 from the edge. So we're going to click dimension. I'm going to click this line, and I'm going to click this line, and I'm going to put in 0.375. I'm going to click this line, and I'm going to click this line, and I'm going to put in 0.5, which means that this should be 0.375, right? It's going to be a driven dimension, so I'm not going to bother with it. And then the, whoops, click dimension, and this guy right here should be 1, right? We're going to finish that sketch. I'm going to extrude with a cut all the way down. And for extents, you can just put all, and it'll cut through all of it. And I'm going to tell it OK. And now we just need to go draw our arc on the front plane. So I'm going to click Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to click the front plane. I'm going to project my cut edges. 
I'm going to click on circle. I'm going to come find the green dot for the midpoint. I'm going to drag the circle out. I'm going to click trim. I'm going to trim away the circle. I'm going to hit finish sketch. I'm going to extrude this. I'm going to change the direction so that it lines up going the right way. And I'm going to tell it OK. Now I'm going to come to plane, mid plane between two planes. And I'm going to pick this side. And I'm going to spin this guy around. I'm going to pick that side. And it's going to drop a plane dead center. I'm going to click mirror. I'm going to click Extrusion 4. Notice if, if I run my mouse over Extrusion 4, it highlights that for me if you forget what Extrusion it is. Okay, Extrusion 4, I'm going to click the red arrow. I'm going to pick my mirror plane. I'm going to see my preview, and I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to hide that second work plane, right-click on it, turn off visibility. And then the last thing to do here is going to be to make that hole. So I'm going to click on Hole. I'm going to use concentric reference. The diameter is still one half. I'm going to click my red arrow. I'm going to pick my arc to line it up, and I'm going to tell it apply. And there you go, guys. That is your link coupler. I don't know what it does. So we're going to come under uh, default, and we're going to pick a color. Oh. Let's go with textured gray. Yeah, there we go. That looks cool. I'm going to save it. File, save as. It's a link coupler. I'm going to go file, new, PLTWA, create. Project name is practice. Your name. The date. And the file name is what it is. So that's a link coupler. Tell it OK. Click on base. Click above it. Click to the right. Give it an isometric. And you're going to want to change the scale to 0.75 on this guy. And tell it OK. Drag these folks apart. Put on your center lines. Remember, go under annotate. Click the plus sign. On the front and top view, be sure to get the um, the arc so that you get the center lines in exactly the right spot. Then you're going to use center line bisector. And you're going to click this guy, and you're going to click that guy. And you're going to click this guy, and you're going to click that guy. And get this guy, and that guy, and this one, and that one. And then in your side view, it's going to be a little weird. It's going to be this line and this line, and then the this line and this line. Okay, because that middle part that's cut out is actually not the hole; it's this um, it's this slot at the back. So that's kind of weird, but that's how it's supposed to look. All right, and hit escape, double click. Let's go ahead and. Put the color on the isometric, and then you are good to go. Friends at home, remember, file save as, save it, let it save whatever it wants to. And remember, friends at home, you are exporting as PDF. And people in the room, print it to general E115. So I'll be back to show you guys a major gray drawing called a rod support um, in the next video. See you then.